What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's up, folks? How you doing? It's Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely back in the building. So today, I'm going to give you one. This is going to be an international diatribe. This is going to be one of my famous ones. I'm going to talk about how how Russia has bounced back to a point and as far as the, their economic and their economy goes now uh, due to economic sanctions over like over uh, Ukraine uh, the plunging oil prices and uh, you understand Russia supplies a lot of power like a lot of they're a big oil exporter they supply uh, Europe with like, what, what they say, they supply Europe with like 35% of their energy power. So look that up. I think it's, it's somewhere in the 30s. I mean, I think it's like 35. Wow. Okay, due to the, the plunging oil prices, their collapse of the economy, the fall of the ruble, you know, that should have uh, uh, Putin's uh, ec Council of Economic Advisors had to address a lot of things in Russia. Uh, they had the uh, you know, uh, Apple balked on their online sales in Russia, which was a uh, was a big blow. Like I said, the economy was so bad. Like I said, Apple balked on it. Like they were going to start online sales in, in Russia, and they were like, no. And like, if you know Russia, the middle class was coming up and having money, this and that, and fifth. But like I said, due to a lot of these problems, Russia's was, the economy was tanking. Uh, they're, 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 what, they're, what they're doing now is, which, they, which a lot of countries are doing, especially like it's just like Southern American countries used to do a lot. I know, I know um, Argentina's doing it now, and Venezuela is, he's, Venezuela Colombia's doing it. They're limiting the exchange for rubles to dollars. Like they're, like people, when, when they're, when they're uh, it's funny how nobody wants to use the dollar, nobody wants to switch from the dollar. But when, they're, when, when their economy starts to tank, they want to exchange their money and, and their, their currency into dollars. They're not exchanging their currencies into the yen. They're not exchanging their currencies into the to the British pound. Or they're not exchanging their currencies, you know, into the euro. They're exchanging their currencies into the dollar. But they all want the dollar to fade away, which which I don't understand that one. But uh, when they're exchanging their and, and the Russia is limited to that now. There's only so much. You know, it, it, the interest rates is like what, 17 percent. They said, uh, as long as Russia, like, and the problem is, as long as Russia is in the Ukraine affairs, we're going to have this. So, but wait a minute, I got to read this important email. I'll be right back with you. All right, back to lecture ham. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I was cut off, but it was important. I had to read, I had to answer some emails real quick. A couple people had to answer. It was real important. You know, I like that. Like I said, if you my email address. Out of focus at lowerentertainment.com and come straight to me. Don't worry about it. Go straight to one of my phones. I'll get it. Just email me. But as I was saying, Russia, and you couldn't blame Putin for the decisions that he has made to this day. Like I said, the, West, the Western sanctions, you know, hurt Russia. All the like I explained before in the last video, not the last video, the previous two minutes, all the things that was hurt. Now, to that point, it, it got to the point that RT, which is Russia Today, which is on, which, which uh, I, I'm not going to lie, Russia Today was a good news, it's a news organization, uh, it's basically like a CNN of Russia. And I'm not going to lie, I used to watch Russia Today a lot, because before Putin stuck his hand in Russia Today, I watched a lot of Russia Today, it was, it was, it was unbiased. It wasn't governmental. It was, you know, you could tell it wasn't. I mean, they were they were talking about they were they were getting on everybody. They were doing investigations. It was, it was like a it was like CNN or I'm gonna say CNN because everybody knows CNN. But it was like that. They were doing investigations, and all of a sudden, somehow the government got involved, and well, uh, you know, Putin is so in the story. But uh, what happened was RT started putting out a lot of propaganda. Saying how good Russia's doing, I guess, and for government, and also Russians, 
you know, the root will start, the root, the root will stop tumbling. I mean, it still could be tumbling further, but not tumbling is bad. But when cool, when, when the prices, the oil prices are going to fall, the root will wasn't in that great of shape to begin with. But now you get away, like I said, you get energy, you get energy consumers, and more importantly, you get the businesses getting antsy over the root bottom line. So now Putin has to do something about this. He has to take extreme measures, because like I said, he, he's, the oligarchy is in control in Russia. The oligarchy is what gives Putin the power to do what he does. If you, if you go after the oligar oligarchs in their wallets, Putin had Putin gets Putin has the tap dance for them. So this after all that, the rules getting now that the investors are starting to come out. They're starting to, to hit the panic button also, but they're all I mean it's what what do you think? I mean but, but like 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 the United States, war does business for Russia also. You no, know, after all that, you know, Putin had to make some crazy decisions. You know, and then the decisions he made was like, which was, I told you, to make the oligarchs happy. He promised to um, raise the standard of living for the average Russians, which, by the way, he has done, but it, it, it's, it dropped before, but now he got to raise it back up. He, uh, yeah, he said he's going to do this in, in, uh, within three years, I think that's what he said. So now he has to produce, and uh, he, he's... Um, He's, he's done a lot of things. It's just that I watched the situation. I watched the situation because, like I said, I used to do have dealings over there. I still have lots of friends over there, and I still do some type of business, if you want to say, with them. And then that's what I'm looking at. You know, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. A lot of these articles on Russia because just, it, it just interests me. And sometimes, I guess, apparently, it interests you because you listen. So be on the lookout for Russia because. Putin's, Putin's crazy enough to pull this one out of his ass. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He, he, he just, he just is. He's the type of dude that does. He, he got that luck going. So just keep it on Russia. All right, peace.